Yes, uh, thanks for joining. We had a small technical issue and uh, I had to cut out the uh, video for everybody. I'm getting back online and uh, give me just a minute here. We will have the party back with us momentarily. On another window, so that's why I was able to hear him. <laughs> oh, do you so have a stream up over there? Yep, I'm back. Can you hear me now? Yes. Welcome back. Okay. Your video's gone, but. <laughs> All right, I probably could fix that. There we go. All right. And hey, look at that! We've got a little dragon in the corner. Yeah, I know. It looks so cute. Right. Um, all right. Everybody, thank you for again for joining us for our Shattered Reality D and D stream. Uh, we're happy to be here. We have lots of D and D shenanigans to continue on from uh, two weeks ago. Um, so we have a special guest with us this week. So Bubble Laser is uh, the artist that drew Cloudy, our mascot that's in there in your lower left, uh, and she has uh, graced us with her presence for this week. She'll be playing a character in the game. So um, we wanted to just do a few housekeeping announcements before we jump in, and uh, we will get to, uh, to continue where we left off on the top of the beanstalk. Um, so real quick, I wanted to thank Blue. Uh, Blue Microphones gave us some awesome uh, hookups with some equipment for the, the uh, stream. I'm going to see if I can show you what this camera. It's a little awkward, uh, but this beautiful uh, mic to help uh, myself sound better for you all uh, was uh, again uh, kind of sponsored by them uh, so helping us make a better solution for you better stream for you and um, bubble we just wanted to thank you for doing an awesome job for us uh, on the logo and uh, we're super super happy with it and so happy to have you with us playing so um, I wanted to do a quick recap just to uh, remind everybody where we left off and then we'll jump in so um, Stephen would you mind doing the recap <clears throat> Sure. Um, so we uh, <clears throat> we made it into the tower. We uh, defeated the lackeys, survived a couple fireballs. Um, we defeated the crone and uh, found some interesting items off her person when we uh, looted her after uh, killing her with a combo from Wang and Weasel. And uh, one of the cool little things we found was a magical bag of beans that uh, I forget what the name of it is. What's it called again, Artie? It's, uh... I think it's actually just called a bag of beans. <laughs> All right, it's just called the bag of beans, guys. Cool. And uh, our great uh, god, Twiddlebottom, who we all know and love so much, decided to eat a couple of them. And uh, the first one made a 60-foot pyramid uh, erupt from his abdomen that has a mummy lord treasure inside. And the tower is now on top of the 60-foot pyramid. Then we found out that he ate two magical beans. And we had a little, uh, you know, Jack and the giant beanstalk action going on as a giant beanstalk erupted from his abdomen and shot the pyramid way up into the clouds. So our group is now, you know, has climbed the beanstalk and we're about to enter this pyramid where we meet our awesome new... Uh, player, and uh, that's where we left off. Awesome. And so we've uh, gained a couple players this week, and we've lost a couple players, but we're going to just be flexible here. Um, so Alric is joining us, who plays Ryman, our half elf rogue. Uh, he has no video today, so it'll be just voice only. Uh, and Bubble is here. So Amber is playing Urthel. Uh, and uh, so we're going to start off our scene uh, by kind of following Urthel's path in uh, joining up with our party. So um, you, Urthel, are, are stalking into the temple. You've been following the captors who have um, captured your little dragon friend, Cloudy. You wanna just kind of describe to us what your character looks like and what she might be doing as she's sneaking into this place. Mm -hmm. So um, Urthel, or Thel for short, she is very small and slight. Not of her own choosing, of course. Uh, she's five foot two. She's got fair white skin and she has hair that looks like fire opal. Uh, it's white and shimmers different colors in the sun. And she has silver eyes. Uh, she is a high elf cleric wizard. And she's not 
the greatest when it comes to social skills because she grew up as uh, a king's ward. She's uh, the master historian for this king. And so she's just barely started getting her feet wet with like adventuring and whatnot and has discovered it's much harder than she originally anticipated. Her current situation is since she's the king's historian, she's been documenting and interviewing and just getting information from nearby dragons that live in this king's kingdom, like his overall realm. And she found Cloudy to be her kind of guide and her friend along the way so that she can gain passage into the lairs of these dragons without getting completely incinerated. Um, but Cloudy was taken from her and now she's kind of just stumbling around awkwardly into this temple and she's she doesn't know how to like barge into a temple and be like give me my friend back so she's like hello um <laughs> i okay um you have uh my friend <clears throat> my friend and i'm gonna come and come in there and get her back <clears throat> behind one of these doors like squeaking into doors is like <laughs> yeah oh. <laughs> yeah she's she's not the greatest with intimidation awesome I, I love her i can picture her already uh if you're if you're in the stream with us yeah, the, the there's some artwork of her kind of brought up big on screen um and before we jump into in character stuff uh, where's the best place so we've got just again some of your artwork here on screen with us where's the best place that folks can find more of what you do bubble uh, my Instagram page, if you're looking for strict, like, just looking through the art as a gallery, Instagram is really good for that. Uh, also, it's been updated several times this week by my fabulous, uh, my fabulous husband who does all of my social media work. Nice. Shout out to him. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. I know he's watching. And so should, should people just look for a bubble laser out on Instagram to find you there? Yeah, it's called bubble laser art. If you just look up Bubble Laser, you'll get my personal page. And it's like, oh, look, she got married. And no, oh, she's traveling. Like, <laughs> none of that. So Bubble Laser art. Aha. Uh -huh. Awesome. Okay. All right, cool. Um, and so, and I've got that shrunk back down to normal size. Good. Um, so you're you're kind of squeaking around the temple. The first thing you notice is um, when you break the, the barrier of entry, like from, it's, there's no door, but when you when you kind of, move past where it is from outdoors to indoors. It's very, very cold in here. Like you're shivering as you're kind of going, I'm going to find you. <laughs> uh, and, uh, she's got like no body fat. So she's like, like actually teeth chattering. Yeah. Yeah. And, and she, you, um, you hit the first room a after the first corridor. It's pretty dark, but you look around. It's, it's very disturbing. There are kind of animal parts all over the place. There's a lot of blood and, and you're just looking around. You're, you're a bit taken aback, and and that's when it hits you. That's when there's this huge earthquake. You oh, feel the, the parts ground. Oh, be like rubbing elbows with like dead antlers. Oh yeah, you're you're uh you're you're getting oh. bounced around in there, um, and it's super violent. You you actually feel yourself become airborne for just a moment, and you smash into a wall and you black out. Um, and our scene opens back up with the party, uh, so. Urthel is kind of opening her eyes and she's coming to you were in a forest um, at this point you are very high you you can see the clouds below you the temple is is right next to you you're kind of on one of the one of the pyramid um, you know stones uh, and there's a group of people around you that are kind of bandaging up their wounds and uh, as we zoom out a little bit there's one more person that's just strung out by his backpack. Uh, hanging on off of the uh, the beanstalk, uh, he's he's just now waking up, and I'll like you're coming to. Last thing you know is you were fighting a boss uh, down way below, and and now you're just dangling by your backpack off of this beanstalk. So like I can feel the air just kind of blowing up from <laughs> underneath me. I'm like, yeah, yeah, oh, definitely. How how did I get here? And I'm like, his vision is blurry as he kind of gazes over at Wang. Hey, buddy. What am I doing over here? <coughs> Excuse me. We had beans. You'll be fine. We're coming. 
I'm like, so, does someone get me down? Pulling out a weapon, I guess. I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> pointing at you guys. Yeah, and when you, you see this, you see this, uh, this, this girl that's just down the, down the pyramid a little bit. That's just like, what's going on? A javelin. Just like, <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, we come in peace. Um, we were down there. We we came up here to save a friend. We have to save another one. One second, and I just like run over to Rai, try to help him get out of that predicament. <laughs> So I'm going to look at her, and I'm going to shape shift to look like her. <laughs> oh, God. She chugs back <laughs> and, like, poke, like, okay, so I'm trying to think of, like, a like a, a show, like a character that I can explain. Maybe, like, I just, like, throw up the javelin, like, too high, like, it's <laughs> like, a whole just, like. Like, awkward. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to speak to her in Sylvan and say, I made this. You speak Sylvan? I, I, I speak Sylvan. You might, if you're a high elf. No, I, I, do, I do. I actually speak many languages. I am oh, a historian. Oh, good. I'm going to switch to Primordial and say, you like it? Don't. Don't speak that one. <laughs> so it's like Sylvan, and then it's like, <laughs> it's like blank, just a blank look appear on her face. <laughs> um. So I'm gonna the other one, if you could. I mean, I mean, speak the other one. <laughs> I say, uh, Papa. one second. <laughs> he says one second. <laughs> I say, Papa, Papa, one second. <laughs> So I'm going to try to uh, kind of balance myself back on this ledge or no, on this branch of this beanstalk. So I will roll an acrobatics check to see if I'm trying to get off. I'm trying to get off. <laughs> and I'm, I'm trying one, to help him in one, any way I can. One, one. Oh, this would be the end of Rai. If... <laughs> don't oh make, don't make Wang leap off the beanstalk and try to save you. Don't, don't make Wang do it. Don't worry. <laughs> I got Featherfall. Um, <laughs> there we go. I rolled it too. No, okay. I'm about to slow fall down there and help All this right. guy. Plus so, eight. So ten. So ten. So. Oh. Okay, so. What does this this backpack has been my downfall? I should just get rid of it. <laughs> you should. Next town, it goes on for goes up for sale. <laughs> this Mexican standoff and then all of a sudden just twang and (laughs) (laughs) so while you're like walking over like okay buddy hold on don't don't go too fast he's like it's fine I got it and like you're very (laughs) dexterous like everything was fine and you were swinging to reach the thing and the strap it just like rips and you're like and so Wang (laughs) Wang can I make a roll to try to catch him by the backpack (laughs) please make an athletics check and don't fail otherwise he's falling (gasps) <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me pull up my character sheet real quick. I'm coming for you, buddy. Oh, natural twenty. I need you, buddy. Come on, that twenty. Hmm. I got a thirteen. <sighs> that's that's with my bonus. I rolled a nine. So inspiration, inspiration. I do have an inspiration. This is a great way to start. Thir- 13. Rolls. I do have inspiration. Do, do you want to know if 13 is enough or do you want to use that inspiration? How how much do you like this guy? <laughs> I'll, use, I'll use the inspiration. He saved my life twice. I gotta try to save him. <laughs> so let me roll again. Oh. oh, it's procced between a 10 and a 17. Let me roll it again. <laughs> okay, that's better. Twenty-two. <laughs> what, what does it look like as he begins falling, but you somehow catch him? <laughs> so, so it's like <laughs> he goes to fall, and as I go to catch him, he's just too far away. So I, what I do is I take out that that uh, new um, staff that I got, and I, I do whatever I have to do to make it lengthen up into a staff. And just shove it right in between his backpack and his back and just throw him back up here. 
So you 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 do your best to like change his momentum and you're throwing him back the right way. And Alric, at this point, you're just like all all the spines that that are on like the outsides of this like the the stem and the leaves. You're just like you're just like stuck on it. Like you're safe, but you're just like damn it. Like you're all like you know like in the plant, like in a way you don't want to be and uh, not very graceful. Not very graceful. At no, all. no, not a pleasant yeah, way to wake next up. Next town. New this backpack. backpack's being some new backpack. I told you to wait, man. I told you to wait. So while this is going, I'm going to look at her and say, you're like him, right? You're also an elf? Um, Not me. I'm human. Th yes? This guy. Ryman. Ryman's half elven. I'm half elven, half human. I look over at him and I go, well. Ouch. A little more elf. <laughs> Oof. I'm going to nod sagely. Mm. I just, I, I help Alric off the uh, beanstalk and just pat him on the back. I'm just like, it's all right, man. You, you're, you're plenty off. Just get rid of the backpack. It's okay to cry. Just turn away from the camera. <laughs> <laughs> he just grows up in a ball at the edge of the beanstalk. Just <laughs> all, all like, um, pride just sunk. <laughs> I, I use my staff to push him a little further away from the edge, just more towards safety as he's still curled up in the fetal position. <laughs> All right. So, All right. So back to seriousness. I'm yeah. going to go look at the Uriel. You can just call me Fel if, Fel if that's easier for you. I'll say, so did you come here with the uh, thing? What thing? Is there a thing? D did There's it... like three things. <laughs> she looks horrified. <laughs> <laughs> and you have no idea why you're in the sky right now. I mean, you're, you're, it's clearly... I'm not even sure if I've like discovered that I'm in the <laughs> sky yet. Okay. I'm just like, there's like nothing as far as I can see. And I'm just like... <laughs> so... What did, what did you do to me? I'm a god. I'm going to turn back to my blue smurf self. And uh, I made this by accident. I'm going to roll a religion check. I do not believe you. Do it. Do it. Um, roll a 20. Okay. That is a uh, 14. Uh, 14? He doesn't match the profile of any gods you know. I just go, right. And I'm going to turn around. And I'm going to walk to the edge of this beanstalk. <laughs> yes, I'm going to observe my surroundings. <laughs> um, yeah, your stomach drops a little when you realize you're like a half a mile into the sky. Uh, and, and I do like a arm thing and just like sit like like hands like arms and legs like all fours on the ground. It's like <gasps> and it's it's very so like I was saying, I made this. <laughs> It's it's very like I was explaining to the party last time. It's kind of like the game topple. You've played the old like the kids game topple. Like when you do that, like the whole thing kind of like you know. Oh shoot! <laughs> so I'm like on a cloud, right? You're on a temple on a cloud. Uh, well, on, 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 a, on a beanstalk. beanstalk. Is on there beanstalk. like a handful of stuff that I can get, or is it just cloud? It's mostly beanstalk that's supporting it, and it's just cloud around you. The cloud's not supporting anything. It's just there. <laughs> So I look at, uh, Rai looks at Twiddlebottom and is like, you did this. You're the reason why I almost died. <laughs> yes. No, your backpack's the reason you almost died. Again. Rai just like hit, pointing his finger at Twiddlebottom and just slowly like looks down like, I need to get rid of this backpack. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I, I go over to the elf and I'm like, so, uh, my name is Wang. Um, he's kind of a god, and I point over at Twiddle Bottom. And uh, we're, we need to get up there. Do you, do you know anything about this place or where we're at? Um, I know a lot of things about a lot of things, uh, but this is not one of them. No. Okay. Who are we? Oh, no. What was Wang? Wang? Right? W Wang, yeah. J um, Wang, too. You can just call me Wang. I'm um, going to, like like shakily get up to my feet and like inch my way like mouse like mouse my way away from the edge and i'm just going to uh wipe off whatever sort of whatever is on my clothes right now mm -hmm. cloud dust 
Mm. I suppose. Sure. I'm going to hold out my hand. Say, um, <clears throat> yes, of course, I am Madame Orthel. You may call me Thel if you wish. Um, I shake a hand. Nice to meet you, Thel. Yes. Where am I right now? Rye then gets up and just walks over to Urthel. Urthel, right? Yeah, just, just Thel, if you feel. Walks over to Urthel. You're an elf. You're an elven. Uh, do you know Rom- Roland? Roland? Roland. Do I know Roland? Roland. You can roll. Is this history? Yes. You can roll with advantage with your background. Okay. Okay, let's see. That's an 18. Uh, this is your dad, right? This is my dad. Uh, it's your uh, dad's cousin. Hi, Elf. Oh! Wow. Like my my dad's cousin? Your dad's cousin. This just got interesting. La- la- last last name, p- p- please. Uh, Roland. Torcas. Um, I've heard the name a, a-, a few times. Are we like? Mm. She takes a beat turns around and just sits there and thinks for several minutes. Like, <laughs> and then he was, and then he with the, is that first, is that second removed? <laughs> <laughs> like the families haven't been close. He's been in a way different, like tribe and or kingdom. They have related by blood. They knew each other as children. They haven't really known each other for the rest of their lives, but your dad's really, 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 really old, right? He's, he's old. old. But he also, oh, his Your dad, dad, dad. Bub- Bubbles dad, Fell's dad is like, like super ancient old. Oh yeah, he's mega old. He's also a, a sun elf, so he's like even more pompous than high elves. Oh, great. So yeah. I don't have a great relationship with him, especially since I was given to the king as a child to be his ward. Ah. And so now it's like, my dad, it's like, oh yeah, that one figure that helped birth me that one time. Mm. Um, <coughs> I, I turn back around and I, uh, I, I flip some of my hair behind my very long ear and I say, um, charmed. We are, um, fourth cousins, or is it two, second cousins, three times removed. We're related. I Rise <laughs> Rai's face just like sh- completely shocked. So you know that bastard. <laughs> I get the feeling that I've put my foot in my mouth just now. Um, <laughs> uh, no is a very strong word, you see. Yes, I, I don't know him. I, <clears throat> I'm a historian. I read about people. And I, I know of him through b- books. And as you guys are talking, almost uh, it, it's almost faster than you can see. Like a, a screech goes across the scra- the sky. It looks wraith-like. It looks almost like it's not totally corporeal, but it, it shrieks and like lands in the doorway. It looks like it was something humanoid-esque, riding something, flying, and it just like lands in the in the doorway to the temple, and it just like goes in. It doesn't even doesn't even acknowledge you guys. I go back to spear like above my head, just like. <gasps> <coughs> okay, now I get to ask some questions. Okay, yeah. Um, that uh, temple. You made this. Uh, you, you, small. Uh, uh, sorry, not small. Um, pocket-sized blue. <laughs> pocket-sized. <laughs> Not for quite so not for at least a couple of weeks. <laughs> he's actually like six feet tall now. <laughs> oh, he is. I think he's a little blue guy. Smurf colored. He was a small guy, then he became a very tall, buff blue guy. Never mind, Doctor Manhattan. Re- rewinding that. You, um, very large, uh, blue man. 
You made made this? Uh, well, well, I ate some beans, and yeah. See, we Fighting. were down there fighting this thing. So, you know, had where, where I come from, you know, food doesn't really do this <laughs> in my plane of existence. So, I don't, think I so. don't know how it interacts with my body, I guess. Yeah, I, I, I birthed a, uh, a beanstalk. <laughs> well, first he birthed a pyramid, which I'm guessing you were in for some reason, and then a beanstalk. And now we're up here instead of down there. You were the earthquake. You, you were the, you ruined some very important plans of mine. I'd like to let you know. Um, oh, good, good, good. Yes. Um, so I suppose now, um, she, she straightens her like flustered dress and like, like smooths it out. You, uh, and she tries to look intimidating, puffs up her chest. You ruined some very important plans. And now I suppose you. You you must you 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 must now help me. <laughs> so you do know about this place. Um slightly. <laughs> okay, so I don't know a lot about this place. To be completely <clears throat> I mean, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. So I, I... I'm gonna look at her and say, you know, I do need a high priest. You so uh, did you just say yeah, you dated yeah. a high priest? What was it? You dated a high priest? No, no, I need a high priest. Oh, you need a yeah, high. Yeah, I, I kind of lost mine when I uh, shattered, more or less. Wait, like, like to worship you, or to make other people worship you? Well, you know, I'll take what I can get. Okay, um, sir. He has a lot of knowledge. Um, I, I, I am afraid that I am, I am in the service of other gods, and uh, I, I'm taken. Which one? I'll talk with him. Wh which, which one? Um, <laughs> uh, her name is, her name is Aether. Uh, if you wish to s speak with her, that will be very, very difficult. Consider He's done it before. B blue. I'm sorry. You all have names. I'm going to stop calling you Blue Man and Backpack Man now. Names. <laughs> <laughs> I am Thel. Order Thel of, of the White Kingdom of Seneca. And... Lord Cantankerous Twiddlebottom. Hmm. T -t 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 Twiddle Twiddle Bottom. <laughs> Excellent. Mr. T for short. Mr. T. I can handle that. Yes, mm -hmm. of course. Uh, you, sir. Ribin Torcus. That's my real name. Ribin. Ribin Torcus. Ribin. Okay. Does that name struck strike a bell? Torcus is definitely a name that <clears throat> I have heard. Um, I am not a Torcus. I, I am I am an Everwisp. Just uh, uh, co cousins of, of the family, if, if you will. What is Romlin up to these days? There haven't been many books written of him recently, so I, am, I apologize, but I entirely do not know. Dude, your dad's in books? He did rule. Well, not good books, but I suppose so. <laughs> All right. So we've met. We know who you are. Why should we help you? <clears throat> she pops up her chest again. <laughs> <laughs> because um, I... Uh, because... Okay. Yeah, you're right. Um, You should help me because... I, I have a friend in there, and she's she's very small, very cute, and she's counting on me to get her back. And I was about to do it. I'm very powerful, very, <clears throat> very much magical ability, and I was about to do it. And then you birthed a beanstalk. 
And I'm currently on that bean be, be stock. You have a friend in there who's in danger. Yes. Well, you said the magic word. Now, Wayne, he's going to help you out. And I follow him around, so let's go do this thing. Let's do it. Oh, oh, just just like that. Okay. And she starts, like, gathering up all of her stuff that's, like, falling out. She's got, like, scrolls that are just, like, heaped up in this bag. She's got way too much stuff for an adventurer. All right. <clears throat> so, uh, <clears throat> what you have in front of you uh, it is a very obvious front door to this temple. Um, it's, you know, like a 10-foot entryway. There doesn't appear... You guys have been short resting like all around this thing and you know strolling about there's no other obvious entryway there's just a big obvious front door um and there's no light inside it's just you can walk in okay and uh so i'm going to shapeshift again this time into a i guess like a lich kind of thing so it looks undeadish um okay so the the uh the back lore in this world is that like there really hasn't been undead to date, so you can morph into something evil looking. But I'm fair. Right? I'm not actually from this world, so I'm pretty sure I know what undead is. Not necessarily. Turn into uh, a mummy. I will turn into Scorpion King. Scorpion King. <laughs> no. The Dwayne Johnson right. version. <laughs> you can turn into something that looks like what just flew by. Sure. There we go. I will look right like. I will say, all right. Uh, you with the scrolls. Don't die. Let's go inside. How does the party look? Like, are they uh, beaten up? We're pretty beaten up. Uh, I just burnt the beanstalk, so yeah, I'm hurt. <laughs> Ooh, don't want to think about that. Okay, um, I have five healing potions. So, um, three others? Yeah. There's four. Yes, I'm not a player. I'm looking at the screens. How did you? I'm like four. I'm three. All right. Okay. Equipment. I can do. Okay. I have potions. I give three potions. One to one each, each person. Awesome. And it says here that you regain... Did I grab the wrong potion? Because it says you regain 4d4 plus 4 hit points. Those sound Is like that right? bigger than normal healing potions. <laughs> I looked for healing potions. It's the only thing that popped up. Really? Yeah, like, you look up Potion of Healing, and it has Greater, Supreme, and, like, Ultimate or something. Mm. So look I for, like, Cure Light Wounds or something. Cure. You know what? These are special bubble laser potions. I'm fine with them being 44 plus 4. <laughs> They're bubbly. Go, go, they're bubbly potions. Everybody gets a... Uh, do, do I roll the 44? Or uh, does everybody else roll? It, it, whoever takes it can roll. Okay, 44 plus 4 hit points back. Not 44. <laughs> no, 4. four. D4. <laughs> <laughs> These little monsters. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Wang, Wang will take that. Those are like the only thing in the world worse than Legos to step on is a D4. <laughs> well, I'm at full health. So. Yeah, you weren't here getting beat up last time. And, and we short rested, right? So we get back eight hit points from that as well. You can spend your hit dice to regain hit points when you short rest. Yes. How do you spend hit dice to regain hit points? So on your character sheet, it'll tell you how many hit dice you ah, have. Gotcha. And you just roll that many, and you get that much plus constitution modifier per die. So, like, do you have a constitution bonus? Yeah, I got like a plus three. I'm, I'm ripped. Oh, awesome. Yeah. So you you roll whatever your hit dice is per level and add your constitution to each die. Uh, your modifier to each die. Okay. So I'll just do two of those and I'll take the 44. I should be pretty good. All right. Let me roll. But you've only short rested, so any of your like long rest abilities and resets and all that stuff is not replenished at this point. Okay. (coughs) 
All right, I get 17 from the from the potion. And I get uh, what? I do D6 per hit die for recovering health. If that's what your hit dice are for your character, yeah. I mean, I don't have your sheet in front of me. I, I don't remember what, what it is for your class. But... Yeah, sorcerer. I don't think it's it's either a D6 or a D4. It's not big. No, it's not uh, four. It's either six or eight. Oh, okay. Let's go with six, and then take it from there. All right, I'm good. Okay. All right, so uh, bookkeeping done. You guys are patched up a little bit and ready to head in. Um, what's the marching order like when you go into this place? Oh, I'm behind people. I'm like, nope. <laughs> Uh, Ryan has no interest in, in going inside, so he's behind everyone. Okay, so I'll be in front of Ulrich. That's not your character name. Sorry. Or... So Twiddlebottom will be first. That's fine. I guess Wang will be second. The mage is first? Okay, this is a good plan. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Um... um... I have a cunning plan. No, we'll there we go. Okay. As you walk into this pyramid, um, it's large, brown, rough-cut stones on the outside. Um, it's a pretty wide corridor, so you can maybe go too wide as you're kind of making your way in. Uh, it's very dark, so I'm assuming you're l striking up some light sources on your, your way in. Um, no, I go. Yeah, I think everyone but Wayne too's got dark vision. I have dark vision as well. I also want to. Uh, I want to cast a cantrip, Blade Ward, uh, so that I am resistant to bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage. That sounds good. Uh, just in case. How long does that last? <laughs> um. Oh, one round. Oh. <laughs> is, is it like? Is it just like your nervous totally tick? Like you just you just keep doing awesome. it. That's right. <laughs> It's like a nervous thing that yeah. I just do it, just like trace glyphs in the air, just like <laughs> just like continuously can tripping. I love it. <laughs> All right. So um that's great. Uh it's what she does when she's nervous. And so <laughs> you guys go in a good 30, 40 feet. Are, are you lighting anything up for Wang or are you just relying on others to go forward? Um, I'll, I'll, I'll light something up like a torch or something. I'm pretty sure I have a torch. Yeah, you got a torch in your pack, sure. All right. So you guys are, um, you're, you're kind Actually, of I'm going to cast, uh, what's the floating light spell? I have that one. Dancing lights. Dancing, lights. Dancing light. No, the one that creates like, the four light spheres. I have fey fire. I think you need a target me, for that. Let me look it up one second. I do have a spell that would be very handy at this point in time. Uh, la, la, la. Mobile devices are not best suited for this spells. There we go. Dancing lights. Yep. 120 feet. So I will summon four spheres of light and just string them out ahead of us. So like 30 I feet apart. Put the torch away. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then we will make our way forward. All right. Awesome. So um, the corridor hits kind of a... Uh, a, a little bit of a T junction, maybe 40, 50 feet in front of you. Um, and you, you feel the same as kind of, um, fell did as we were describing earlier. So it's very cold. You could feel the chill running up your spine. It was, it's a big contrast to the way it was outside. It was almost sweaty outside. So you can feel the, the moisture on your skin getting very cold as you kind of walk into the corridor it's very dark, and the smells start to hit you next. Um, it smells like things that have died. You you fight a little bit of, uh, of nausea as you're kind of walking closer and closer down the corridor. And as you hit the T-junction to your left, um, it does open up to a room. You've been here once, Bubble, um, where um, you see just desecrated animal parts. There's wings. There's limbs. There's large tables with cleavers. Um the, what's interesting is that they seem to be, um, the whole carcasses aren't there, but definitely large hunks of different animals are around. Yeah, don't. Uh, I didn't know I had this in me. Dude, what else have you been eating? 
So there is a uh, there is a door beyond it, up a few steps. There's like four steps that, that span the whole room, and it goes up a little bit. You can go through this room. You can look around in this room, or you can go to your right. There's a corridor there that you can explore. Which way is furthest from the desecrated animal room? <laughs> uh, just making a right turn. Charging battery. I turn right. <laughs> well, I guess I can't make the decision. I'm basically in the back. But I'm going to send a light down each one. Mm-hmm. Kind of see what I see. Okay. So yeah, if you if you were to kind of go into the doorway that's past the the desecrated room, it's up you know again up up four steps or so. Um, there's a. It's on the far right side of the room. There's a corridor that then juts to the left, so you can't see past that. But there, it looks like you can walk that way. And if you look down the right, um, it's a little little bit of a T juncture. So you it, it goes a few feet right. It curves to your left, and then you got to follow it down. Anything going up? Anything going up? The the one to your right is level. The one to your left is going up slightly. Okay, so we go up. Okay. Um, you doing anything in this room with the, with the nasty stuff, or are you just like trying not to barf and walking past it? That one. Okay. Yep. Okay. Right. As uh, as we walk by, I just kind of um, look back at. Uh, um, I'm sorry. What was your character's name again? Fell. Fell. Like, I look. Yell. Okay, I look back at Fell, and I'm like, "So, what does your friend look like? Who who are we looking for?" Um, she's a uh, she's blue, and has horns. Um, very cute. Uh, collects shiny things. Uh, and she's a dragon. I was almost saying you were explaining me until you said dragon. <laughs> yeah. Your friend's um, a dragon? Yes, but a, a, a little one, you know, kind, sweet little little thing. Uh, That's actually pretty cool. And and Thel knows this. She's she's a baby, and she's she's horse sized. Like she's she's a big baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like she's she's a little thing. She's like, like <laughs> arms out. By the way, um, for the DM, yes, I'm a divination wizard, and I get to keep two dice rolls okay. at the beginning of each day. I have a 17 and a 5, and I can and swap five. any roll at any point in this day with either a 5 or a 17. That sounds good. I don't think... It's probably not any roll. It's, um, I think replace it's an any. attack roll, saving throw, or ability check. Uh, for me, a party member, or any creature attacking us. Okay. Right. So just about any roll. So. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, the ones that the ones that count. Okay. Um. <clears throat> so you um. You walk past uh the, the the room. Um. There are some stairs that head straight up. I'm assuming there's not really other other options here. So I'm assuming you follow the stairs up just a bit. Um, and it immediately does kind of like a 180 hallway, right? So the stairs went up to the left, turns around, and there's a long hallway to what would have been your right. Um, as you kind of look down it, you definitely see um, kind of uh, this wraith that is just kind of turning a corner. Um, enough that like if you really try fast, you can try to do something to it. Uh, but it's just about to turn. So what do you guys want to do? What you see on your left are um, kind of cells. They almost look like prison cells. Um, and so there's maybe four of those. And then there's the hallway that he is now turning down to the left to go out of the hallway you're seeing. Somehow his perception did not see you and your crazy lights. <laughs> I'm happy to let him go. I bet you guys. Let him go. Chase him. Put the sword away. <laughs> Chase him. I, I hold Rye right. by the backpack. It's like grabbing a Saiyan by the tail. Okay, he goes. So can you explain more about these prison cells? Yeah. So uh, the guy walks kind of down the hallway. You hear a bit of a whoosh. Uh, and then a, you hear a stone, um, like a grinding stone. And then you a couple seconds, you hear grinding stone again. 
and then you don't hear anything. Um, and uh, in the cells, so they look like, um, you know, what would have been kind of old school prison cells. So they're wooden doors. At this point, they're kind of falling apart, but they're very thick and heavy. And they have chain, not, excuse me, not chain. They have metal bars in the middle of them, like a you know, square of metal bars for seeing through. Uh, they're not locked. Um, so you can look in and you can go in any of the rooms. Okay, I will turn to our rogue and say, uh, check for traps. And I'll turn to the to fell and say, uh, any of this ring a bell? Actually, I, I never made it this far. <laughs> um, the, the last door back there, that was uh, the last one I saw. I may have lied a little bit. So huh. you, you saw the entrance? Yes. And a, a good amount of rooms and, and carnage. Carnage is always good. <laughs> we, we, uh, we tend to do pretty well in places that have carnage. You bring the carnage, usually. I don't. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Ryman, you'll, what are you you'll doing? Be, you'll be fine. Um, I think I want to check out what are in those cells. And... You you really want to kill that guard, uh, but you can check the cells. Um, I do really want to kill that really guard. You really want to kill that guard. Um, <laughs> God. I've I've lost my sense of pride and I just need to kill something. <laughs> <laughs> Rai may have picked up a weapon a few episodes ago that may or may not be subtly influencing his personality. Just just saying. Oh no! Actually, so, is that what we're calling it now? Subtle. It's it's like call me a It's not person. subtle. <laughs> it's like it's like CBD powder. You know, oil. It's you know, it's fine. It's for medicinal purposes. It's okay. Um, <laughs> so. Uh, it, it, you, so you're checking out the. Are you like checking for traps, or are you just like opening the door? I'm doing both. Okay. So as I'm open, opening the doors, I'm checking to see if there are any traps as I go in. Yeah. I'm also looking for gold. Okay. So uh, the very first one uh, you you look at, it looks to be very mundane. Um, you you open the door. It does give you a good creak. You get as you open the door. You're being loud. Um. And uh, there's um, like a two foot diameter wing uh, in the corner of the cell. Um, and it's otherwise empty as far as you can see. Like it's just a wing? Just the wing. It's just hanging there? Like it's no, like it's like d down like in the corner of the cell, like discarded. Is oh, it wait, blue? wait, like an animal arm wing? Uh huh. Discarded. Is it? Is it, is it is it feathery uh -huh. or like? Uh, it's scaly. Scaly. Uh huh. Way smaller uh -huh. than Cloudy's, by the way. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do me like that. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I, I turn to Thel. Uh, I see a wing. Is this your dragon? I think it's dead. Did you freaking say that to me? <laughs> <laughs> I push past the order. I'm like, no. <laughs> Check. It's too small. Thanks, buddy. How how big are this dragon's wings? I uh I kind of like I do this like funny charade thing where I like think and you see I'm actually maybe doing like math <laughs> in my head to like calculate like approximately how large would a dragon's wings of this size just like uh. Uh, from from here to there, <laughs> and I point to one of the bars. <laughs> from, from me to there. Okay, so pre Ooh. pretty big. Okay, all right. Well, so I just continue. The, the I continue to check the other cells. Yeah, the second the second door is very shoddy. Like, uh, um, you it might. Uh, what's your perception roll? Um. You want me to do a perception roll? Yeah, pl please. Sorry, that was my way of oh. asking you to do a perception roll. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, 
What's wrong uh, with it I just rolled one? a two plus eight. Oh my uh, gosh, bro. That's a ten. Um, Look, I just almost died, okay? I'm kind of <laughs> shaky and I want to kill things. It, it, it's that sword. It looks older than the first one, but that's all. So you, you, you're going in to check it out? Yep, that's, I'm going in. You, you pull on the handle. You probably would have seen this on one of your better days, but it was just about to fall off the hinges, and it just... Ear, boom! Like, it just, like, hits the, the, the cell floor really loud, um, and uh, it's echoing throughout the chamber. Uh, I, I, I feel like Ryman is, like, looking around at you guys, like, uh... I say, okay, I have a plan. Next room over. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to quickly usher the room, or the, the room across the hall from the door. I run. I run. <laughs> I follow. Right, right. Just looks back and like, fell is just gone. Two, <laughs> yeah. I'm it's just a cloud of smoke. Illusions. Where you like run really fast and there's like a cloud in the shape of this person. <laughs> okay, you guys, are, you're hearing this, this, the sound of you know the the um, stone sliding again. So you have enough time to do one thing. So what's what's every what's one thing everybody's doing? So, so I'm, I'm going to cast a double double minor illusion. Okay. One of the room we're in, the door being closed. The second is of Thel in the room across the hall. Of Thel in the room across the There's no across the hall. There's only ah, there's so, rooms and there's like, they're all on the left. So. Ah. Okay. I thought they were on. Okay. Anyways, then I will just put a illusion of a door in front of us. Okay. So you're, all, you're, you're all in the room. Well, at least you are. Okay. Uh, Thel, what are you doing? Uh, I wanted to get in a room that has a door uh, to close. The one behind you has a door. The one in front of you has a door that you haven't explored yet. I want to be safe and go in the one that I've already seen. Because okay. uh, my intelligence is pretty high. And I know that if I go into a door that I haven't been in before, there are things in there. <laughs> Something I have... might be there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, so you're you're closing the the or you're going into the room you you just came out of with the discarded wing. Uh, Wang, what are you doing? Um, I guess I'm I'm following Thel. Okay. I just trying to get someplace safe. <laughs> and uh, Rai, smoke bomb. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have smoke bombs? I don't. <laughs> So, <laughs> with the sound, I immediately just um, grasp the sheath of my sword and look around actively. Yeah, waiting. you're you're definitely f like you don't hear them, but you hear them. They're like, "Kill them, kill them." You're just hearing a little voice. Yeah. So. So you're just, you're okay. just like standing your ground in the hallway. I'm just standing my ground. So, do I hear anything coming towards me? Yeah, you hear like clomping. There's like there's footsteps coming for sure. Could so, I tell how many? Uh, yeah, go and give me a perception. Ooh, one. Oh, Plus eight. But it's eight. a one. So I know you're not. <laughs> you're not one. Um, I'm not one. It's a, it. Uh, this is a rough night for me. It, it's 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 very echoey, and because of your one, you're sure there's like fifty of them. There's like, there's like fifty. <laughs> I think Wang should stay outside instead. Put up faces of defense and help. Ryan no, no, because... no. You committed. You're in the room. <laughs> All right, let's roll for initiative. Yes, everyone. Or just everybody, or everybody, right. please. Oh, we have a little uh, initiative tracker, Google Sheet that I'll link to you guys. That was a five. <laughs> mm, nice. Like two plus three. Mm. Can't always be speedy, I guess. All right. All right. Where's our Discord? Here it is. That is an eleven for me. 15 plus my deck, so I guess 17. 15. All right.
So we'll throw those in the sheet. I'll clear out the characters that are not here. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go somewhere real quick. I'll be back okay. in like yep. two seconds. Don't count two seconds though. I'm not gonna be two seconds. One two. For these guys, they got a five and a thirteen on their dice. Luckily for you, the the bigger bad guy got the lower roll. Does anybody remember what bubble rolled? I do not. Remember what? What bubble rolled? I think she said five. She did. But I'm not sure. Five, I think. Hey, husband, if you're watching and you know what she rolled, uh, type it in Twitch chat. Five for now. I think it's what it was because she she won't she won't be first anyway. So bubble five. All right, everybody in there. Can someone add me as a seventeen? Seventeen. Ooh, you're first. So uh, Twiddle, you hear kind of this uh, clomping coming down the hallway. You are in the room with the door closed, so you, you cannot see them. Uh, so they, they're going to be doing stuff, you know, uh, unless you intervene, but you won't be, like... Anyway, yeah, so what do you want to do? Okay, I will make a... Hmm. I can't epic see, battle music. <laughs> I love the battle music. <laughs> the battle music is great. <laughs> Please cast sleep. Please cast anyway. sleep. I feel like I will give you advantage if you cast sleep. But they're undead. It doesn't work on undead. Just do it anyway. It this time. I don't, I don't have sleep. Aww. Raymond has sleep, but he's not going to do it because he's battle crazy. Yeah, he's crazy. Right. Uh, I will hold my spell. I'll wait until I see what's going on. All right, which, which spell are you readying? Uh, um, let's see which one gives disadvantage again. <laughs> All right. Frostbite. Oh, they're undead, right? Not going to help. Um, <laughs> vicious Mockery. I'm going to get ready Vicious Mockery. Okay. And the trigger... Hang on, hang on. What do you say? This is the Looks best part so of Dungeons alive. and Dragons is Vicious Mockery. What do you say? Well, he's not, he's not casting you, yet. He's you just haven't ready. haven't casted so. yet. I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, what's the trigger for your ready? Is it just when you see them? Uh, when they're well, I guess when I see them ready to attack um, our, our prodigious thief. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, let me pull up their stat block real quick. Uh, ba -ba. I use the little... Um, D and D Beyond Encounter Builder for this thing. I love it. It's so good. Okay. Um, so that's uh, down the corridor. Uh, come, kind of like a a tall looking kind of well-armored, pale, kind of studded leather-wearing um, figure. And he um, 
he actually steps back. Like, so there's a, like a little bit of a T-junction up ahead. He steps back enough that he's going to let the other guys kind of rush in. But he just kind of puts, puts out a finger and kind of points down the direction of your hallway. And the moment he points, um, four smaller uh, kind of ghoulish looking figures start sprinting uh, in Alric's direction. So uh, it's a five foot hallway, so they're not all going to reach, but uh, they're going to try. So um, the first one is going to make an attack. Not yet. I trigger. Okay. Go for it. Okay. I'm wearing my bracers. So I got to hit two of them. So the two who are going to get to Ulrich first. And what do they look like? Give me some intel. Um, so they look like um, kind of, they also look similar to him. They look very pale, wispy hair, studded leather. They look like fast moving, um, almost almost kind of assassin-y looking figures. Okay, so I will call out to the doorway. And I will say, hmm, I don't know. What's a good, what's something vicious you can say to an assassin? Ah, I know. You look like a paladin on steroids. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And how does your uh, spell work? Uh, they get a save, DC 20, and 2d4 damage. Uh, psychic damage, and they have disadvantage. The next round. And if it's they wisdom. save, it's half. Um, they say succeed with wisdom save or take twenty four damage. Does this, you know, if, if if they succeed, they get, it misses. I guess it doesn't affect them. Okay. You see twenty, huh? Yeah, that's a will save. Okay. Um, so they they're charging towards you and. Uh, do, do, you, do you feel like your magic has any kind of visible effect when you cast this vicious mockery? No, that was way more awesome. Um, and they like stutter or collapse. Or well, hmm. Let me think on that. For now, no. I, I need to give that some thought. So, what? What? From Alric's perspective, we'll see this. From Ryman, right? Are you here? Yes. All right. So. There's these these four creatures kind of charging doors down the hall at you. You, I'm assuming, are just like readying your weapon and just, th you know, thematically charging back at them. And uh, the first two of them just evaporate. They they get hit by this this these words, and you just feel like ash coming all over you, and they're just disappearing. Uh, and there's just kind of ash falling all over the place. Um, the third one behind them uh, does come and, and slash at you as he attacks. Uh, the first one's only an 11, but the second one's a 21. So I'm assuming the 21's going to hit. Yeah, 16. Okay. Um... Okay, so he does uh, five points of damage to you. And go ahead and give me a uh, constitution saving throw, please. Okay, save throw. Constitution. 13 plus 3, 16. Okay. Um, when, you, when you feel the blade hit, um, you feel it's just almost unnaturally cold. And you feel it almost sucks away at your soul, and you steal yourself as as you you kind of shrug away the magic. But it was definitely trying to do something with your life force, um, and uh, it's 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 sitting in front of you. You hear more footsteps from behind, um, but that was their whole turn. So okay, uh, so I'm up. You're up. You got the little guy, little, yeah, medium guy in front of you, a bigger guy behind him. Okay, so I got hit, right? Got hit. All right. So as I got hit, I unsheath my sword and kind of in a rage slash back kind of uh going into like a 360 landing on the floor in like one of those cool poses holding his gash and i'm gonna see if i connect right yeah go for it uh okay and, and remind me i know your weapon was currently at a plus two 
three? No. This one? Plus nine. No. The flame tongue. Well, I know total, I know, but the the weapon itself was giving you it was a plus two weapon? Mm, not that I know of. Oh, okay. Well, I don't I don't hold on, let me check my notes. Da, 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 da. It's a plus one. Plus one. Okay, great. Yeah, plus one. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. So your yeah, so total I, is plus nine to hit, but yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Um, eleven plus one, so twelve, and that's pretty much it, right? Mm. I'm 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 forgetting how to use this weapon again. <laughs> okay. You have a total of plus nine after all your bonuses, so you rolled eleven plus nine to hit. Ah. So you get a yeah, you get a big bonus to hit with this thing. Okay, so 11 plus 1 plus 9. But no, I'm trying to see if it connects, and I hit it 11. Wait, wait. Sorry, sorry. I'm, what I'm what like, is your roll on oh, the die? Nine, 11. Okay. And on your character sheet, there should be a plus to hit on your character sheet. I think is a plus 9. It's a plus 9. Okay, so you rolled 20 total to hit. It's going to hit. Yes, okay. <laughs> uh, and go ahead and roll your damage. Okay, I f- I'm... I completely forgot how to roll this damage. Okay, well, so you take a dice and you shake it in your hands and you let go. Come on. Come on. <coughs> Come on. So it's I a, forgot which die. It's a D, D6. Okay. It's a, it's it's a long sword, right? Which is a D8. It's, I, I have the short sword. Okay, lo- short sword D6. Yeah. It's uh, flame six. tongue. One plus six. Four plus six. What are, you, what are you saying? 10 it's damage. 10 damage. Okay, what's the 4 from? Your dex? No, from my roll. Okay. All right. You got to add your dex. Uh, so you get 4 from your dex, right? Your dex is 18. Yes, yeah, plus 4. Uh-huh. So 14. And, and then you got to roll 2d6 from the flame tongue. No, I, I, it says 1d6. A 1d6 from the flame tongue. Yeah. So dex is plus wait where's my dex so, so you got d6 plus for the, okay d6 no, for the sword plus... d6 for the sword d6 for the flame tongue plus your dex so 2d6 plus four mm-hmm. okay plus one more so 2d6 plus five <laughs> jeez jeez maths Fel, okay Fel's character definitely understands your <laughs> weapons math i don't know what we do but <laughs> so it's uh six one and plus five. So seven plus five, 12. 12 damage. Yeah. Um, how does this thing die as it starts turning to ash as you hit it? It just spontaneously combusts. That's the best image I have in my mind. Yeah, definitely. As, upon, yeah. upon contact. Awesome. Yeah. It, and it, the ash just kind of like slowly falls and blows. Awesome. His, yeah, his, it's wispy, definitely... his wispy white locks. Yeah. <laughs> Is... Uh, do you, do you have one attack or two? Um, just I I could take a bonus action, but I'm not going to take it. Okay, so um, you feel his life kind of uh, the, the essence of what was keeping him here almost drains somewhat into this into this sword. Um, some of the ash actually sticks to it just a little bit on the, near the hilt as you kind of slice through him. Um, your weapon now does another d6 of damage next time you do damage with it. Can I roll a history check on that on that blade? Absolutely. Like, when I see this happen, I'm just going to be like... What? Yeah. Yes, yes. It's on fire. It's flame tongue right now. Okay, let's see. We have a person who knows That's things. That's a 21. Okay. Oh, gosh. So you know things. Uh, you have, I know things. You have <laughs> read about this sword. Um, this is, uh, what's, ah, yeah, um, it's a sword from one of the nine hells. It's the sword of a demon prince named Balazar. Um, and it's been documented to give people extreme strength, um, and also um, has some... The, the people have had very distorted, dark futures after using this sort. 
So I'm assuming if anyone were to try and take that sword from him, they'd go into some form of a rage. Uh, does, it, does it have one of those, like, does it have one of those effects tacked onto it where it's like, um, if they start combat with someone and draw blood, they have to kill them or else they will be locked in combat forever. You that kind of You don't know that. Okay. Yeah. You know about it. Like, you don't know all the... All the, you know, exact stats. Okay. You could... You know. I'm, I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> uh, yeah, you should be. I, I'm... I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm uncomfortable. It might be your turn. Uh, it's actually Wang's turn. Uh, Wang, um, Albert looks happier than you've seen him in, like, two days. Yeah, I'm kind of disturbed. It's, um, it's your turn. He has like a grin, just ear to ear. <laughs> See, um, I'm, I'm gonna join the fight. I'm gonna run up to. Uh... Wait, one, one more question, because I feel like it's what Alric would have done. Alric, there are more footsteps coming. Are you staying where you slice this guy, or are you charging forward? I'm staying, waiting for them to come. Okay, good. You're just you're meat grindering. Okay, got it. Uh, Wang, your turn. Um, I'm just I'm just gonna run up next to um to Rai and, and activate patient defense and wait next to him and just kind of look at him and be like, you really need to drop that sword, buddy. So it's a, it's a uh, five foot, so you can either be in front of him or behind him. Uh, be in front of him. Okay. Um, and that's it? Just patient defense? You're just, just kind of waiting for the onslaught? Just waiting for the onslaught. Okay, cool. Um, so... The 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 kind of the guy that was <laughs> so, so weird. the guy that was ordering them uh, kind of towards you guys kind of struts forward and Ooh, he, he struts he he does <laughs> <laughs> he kind of looks down to the hallway he came from and points and you hear like more footsteps kind of dashing forward and comes at you and pulls out kind of an ethereal blade out of a sheath. Uh, it's it doesn't even look like metal. It just looks like it's kind of glowing energy, and it comes down a slice slice it at you, Mr. Wang. Uh, mm-hmm. Let me see what he does here. Uh, well, he rolled, and, and patient defense does that he give has, a disadvantage? He has disadvantage. Okay, well you made him get a one on his first one. Let's see what happens on his second roll. Uh, second roll is probably going to hit. He got a 15 plus 8. So, uh, yeah. That hits. All right. Uh, so that's... I'm strong. He ain't that strong. Right. So that's going to do 10 points of damage. And okay. uh, go ahead and give me a DC uh, 13 constitution check, Wang. All right. Give me one second. <clears throat> what am I rolling? Uh constitution check constitution check this is a test this is a challenge you don't want to oh, he got he got he got a 15 on with this advantage nice yeah he rolled a 15 and a 16 ah. his hit his plus to hits pretty high too uh you said 15 is what i have to beat 13 13 great because yeah. i rolled a 13 plus 2 is 15 Ooh, okay so you my feel- monk don't play Right, you feel the same. You get into your defensive stance. You dodge the first blow. He comes back around su- surprisingly fast, and you you feel similar to what what Rai just felt. You almost feel your life force. You you feel like dazed for just a second, and you just snap back in. But like your world went fuzzy for a quick second, uh, and this guy is kind of just you know staring at you as he's his reinforcements are filing in behind him, uh, and he takes a quick uh, disengage step and kind of like. Um, almost like unnaturally steps backwards, making room for the, the ranks that are coming in. Um, that was an actual disengage, so you're not going to get your attack. Uh, but he mm-hmm. did uh, for his... Um... Yeah, that's all. Um, okay. Bubble! You're up. All right. Um, I'm just like crouching in the corner of this cell, like hands over my head like freaking out it's like <laughs> that guy's got a demon sword these people are like just they're running at us so um i'm going to like jam my hand 
in my bag and I'm going to pull out my red amulet of Aether and uh, channel divinity to turn undead. Ooh, okay. So um, all undead within 30 feet of me have to make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. And you're, I'm assuming, going out into the hallway? Yeah. I'm like, I'm seeing, I'm like, oh, everybody's going to die. They need your help. Oh my gosh, you have to stand up. You have to stand up. Okay. 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 <laughs> and then I just run <laughs> into the hallway. Okay. Uh, and turn undead. I'm, I'm going to go look it up. I'm, rem- I'm trying to remember if in this edition it um, destroys lower level undead or if it. No, this is just turn undead. There's another thing called dis- like destroy uh... undead. Yeah. I don't think I'm a high enough level for that yet cuz I believe that's like level like 5 to 6. Yep. Okay. And what's their saving throw? Um they have to be uh 12. Okay. Which I understand is one of the easier ones. Well, about half. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Uh the big guy makes it. The little guys. Um uh, so the amount of footsteps that are coming uh, decrease. Um, you seem like maybe half of them or so are no longer coming your way. Okay. And uh, it says that's an action. So uh, that's that's my action. <laughs> okay, awesome. And so you're just like sh- shaking and quivering and holding up the symbol. Like my knees are like having a battle. They're like clicking against each other. It's like, <laughs> like holding up this red amulet. Like, oh my gosh. Oh yeah. My gosh. Awesome. Okay. Um, who is up? Total bottom. You are up. Mr. Bedtime. Music. All right. I am checking Phantasmal Force to see if it works on dead. I don't uh, hear battle music. Yeah. What happened? Yeah. I, well, you know, I, I, I'm thinking you guys told me kids had to sleep without it. I don't see anything in here about undead. So let's go with that. I'm going to, once again, peek my head out. I'm going to go, bang! Like, like, the, 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 the pistol fingers. Bang! <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to hit the big guy with the phantasmal force. Okay. And I'm going to use my, uh, what is it, my tides of chaos or whatever uh, to give myself advantage. Ooh. Or give him disadvantage, I guess, however that works. Okay. And then you can, of course, give me my cool special special effects. I don't think there will ever be a time where I don't do wild wild mage surge because. <laughs> <great. laughs> All right. Uh, so you uh, do? Do I get a save? Int DC sixteen. Sixteen. Let's see. And he, uh, um, and does he get ha- half damage on a save? Uh, it doesn't work on if it doesn't work on it gets saved, but you, you tell me, tell me what his dice is. I have another ability that I might use if it's low. If it's uh, he, he did he did meet the save just just met it, um, but he uh, the wild, wild mage is going to happen too. So are you going to use your dice cool thing? I'm going to use my dice cool thing, and okay. I'm going to check the long rest thing on that now. And yep, so he loses one d four on that. Ooh, yeah, so he, he, he just made it. So even if you're old to one, he's going to fail. So, I rolled um, a three, so there you go. Okay. Uh, so he uh, is failing and that. So what he sees is that uh, from behind him, out of the wall, sort of, you know, like, like golden motes of light start uh, dripping out of the, I guess, the, 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 the masonry. And they okay. pool into this, uh, I guess almost like a, a half-man, half-griffin kind of creature mm. that starts to lay into him. And so he will take 1d6 necrotic, 1d6 damage, and uh, essentially anything that happens to him, he will attribute to this this, uh, this creature that he sees. Awesome. Uh, go ahead and roll your damage. Three. Booyah, take that. All right. Statistical average. All right, let's roll your wild magic surge and see what other interesting things happen right now. Uh, I'm looking up the table right now. I have it. I have it. I feel like we should just give you the beanstalk table. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Like, that's your that's your true form. Uh, for, for now, we'll do a regular magic surge. So, 
Um, go ahead and roll your uh, whatever surge you want to give me. I'll take. Uh, give you. I'll give you a, a soda surge. Uh, but but roll your d hundred, please. All right. You don't want to roll it for me? Surprise me. Uh, let's I see. can't. Two d tens. Fifty six. Fifty six. Oh, how nice. Um, you cast levitate on yourself, so you are uh, you're, you're flying. You're flying. <laughs> For how long? Uh, ten minutes. Cool. Yeah. I can't trigger tripwires. I like it. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Now up, you're really Doctor Manhattan. Let's see. Yeah. And it's second. Like Can I do the Lego last thing where like I throw rocks and jump off of the rocks? You could definitely try. Let's, let's put it that way. <laughs> But it's levitation. It's, it's D and D. You can try anything you want once. <laughs> now, you can't always try it twice, but you can try anything once. Okay, um, we are back to uh, the little guys that were not turned. So that's going to be two of them, kind of barrel into the corridor and are coming to attack uh, Rai. No, they're attacking Wang, who's in the front. First guy with his disadvantage is going to roll a uh, 11, which is, I'm sure, going to miss you. Yes? Mm-hmm. Misses. Second attack. Ooh, and that one. Um, so he just... Um, he, he's actually, like, falling into you. Like, you, you're easily pushing him to the side, but he's, like, just kind of prone. <laughs> uh, the other guy is going to kind of... Try to, uh, he's gonna risk kind of hopping over his friend to attack you. He's gonna need to back out of that square. You'll, you'll wind up getting an attack on him, but he's gonna try. First attack is a, oh, disadvantage is killing me! It's a six. Second attack is, oh, disadvantage also killing me. So they're just, just three stooging it up in the hallway. Just, they're just <laughs> falling all over each other. They are not doing anything much at all. Yeah, you know what I man. imagine? You know how, like, in those kung fu movies, everyone kind of waits and they do one on one? Yeah. Then they all kind of just make a semicircle and watching one guy just flail miserably. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, it is Rai's turn. So he, uh, Rai, rises up, sword in hand, and he goes into one of those, like, samurai poses, you know, like where he, like, with the katana. Yeah. And, he's, Jack. <laughs> and he just goes straight for a quick slash to the head of one of the short rates. They're rates, right? Uh, yes. Okay. Now let's see. If now, I this, this guy is trying to protect you. He is in front of you so much so that you'll actually have disadvantage if you try to enter his square. Which guy? This Wang, Wang guy. Wang, yeah. I mean, Wang. He's, he's, Wang being your buddy, he's being your buddy, trying to protect you from danger, but you can't you can't get a good attack in because of him. Unless you scream Haku as you you know run towards them. <laughs> <laughs> now, Damn it, Wang. <laughs> I feel like I'm not nerd enough to his, understand that reference. His turn. It's I, from I, Samurai Jack. I don't get it either. Now his turn's <laughs> coming up. So I mean, it's a Samurai wanna, Jack. Thing. If you guys want to coordinate, you can, but uh, it, he's, he's up next. So I'm, I'm just going to be like, Wang, get down and just <laughs> go duck. for it. All right. So you'll we'll leapfrog in it. You'll, you'll <laughs> use enough of your action to, to uh, or your move rather to get out of the way. So, you, okay, Wang, you got an option. You got an option, Wang. You can move out of the way and take attacks or you can disengage, but it's your choice. Like how recklessly do you want to get out of the way to let him attack? Um, if it could put me closer to the big bad in front, I'll just move forward through those guys. Through, no, you can't do that. Well, no. you you would take your action and move through their square, their square with acrobatics if you want to do that. I can do that. I kind of like the leapfrog idea. <laughs> just leapfrog. <laughs> That's pretty cool too. <laughs> I, I could just duck and he could leapfrog over me. All right, that's, 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 that's what's let's happening. Do that. All right, that's so what's we'll happening. resolve your turn afterwards. So you're just ducking, you're leapfrogging over. <laughs> Alric, uh, make your attack roll, please. I rolled a six. Mm, plus, oh, plus, a, plus a lot. Plus nine. Um, six plus nine. It, it's really hard for you to miss right now. You hit. <laughs> 
<laughs> with you it's like plus 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 okay now i can count <laughs> yes. I, I keep forgetting about that plus nine okay so i connect right mm -hmm. um now it's my d6 for you have 3d6 plus five two six ten fourteen plus five okay so uh you definitely obliterate him and you can tell us what that looks like but before you do that um because you reduced an enemy to zero and there's another one adjacent and you have the sword in your hand you get a free attack so go oh. ahead and attack again great so man that sword 19 uh you're gonna hit so you were previously rolling plus two d6 on your damage roll three d6 more because you've killed another mm -hmm. enemy 3d6 more. Okay. Yeah. So a total of... I need to, I need to track this math now at this point. Yeah. So you're at... I, I mean, I've got one too. So instead of 1d6 for your flame tongue, you've got 3d6 for your flame tongue. So our rogue became a barbarian. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Uh, five. Three. Five. Plus five. Um, so what does it look like as you obliterate two more? Honestly, I'm I'm not even sure. I'll let you do this one. <laughs> They're just... So I, I've got this. I've got this. So <laughs> Wing 2 kneel, kneels down, and then Ryman leapfrogs over with a scream. <laughs> right, as he's leapfrogging over, uh, he hits the first guy, and then you know, sort of bounces off the wall, hits the second guy. You know, the, the, the dust explodes and clutch on the sword and the flame, flame grows brighter. Absolutely, yeah. Um, Thank you to the bottom for that one. Good job, I like it. good job. I like job. it. Uh, and so uh, anything with your movement that you're doing otherwise? You got the big bat in front of you. I think I can disengage. You can. A you're not engaging with anybody. They're all dead where you killed them. <laughs> Wait, I, I thought we had one you more big disengage bat. disengage with the corpses. He's not in melee range, so there's nothing to disengage. Oh, okay. Then uh, I'll just save that action for later. Okay. All right. So, uh, Wang, uh, Rai just obliterated all the little dudes in front of you. So, I, I'm just going to go with the momentum. Uh, I'm going to tell him to duck so I can leapfrog over him and get towards <laughs> Big Bad. <laughs> it's just going to be a train of leapfrogs till we win this battle. <laughs> I'm just start calling you guys the battle toads. You just <laughs> happen, man. Guys, there are so many. There are so many things that I could do tonight, but the one thing that makes it so worth it is just the leap, the <laughs> leapfrog. Okay. <laughs> what I truly want to do with my night. <laughs> Love this. Oh, she's coming from behind. She's gonna come and leap she's gonna leapfrog and yeah, do some magic. <laughs> like I'm vaulting it. <laughs> All right, Lang, make your attack. She is no longer afraid. All right, <laughs> leapfrog has set her free. So uh, I'm gonna attack him with the uh, with the staff first. Then I got the unarmed attack, and then I'm gonna blow a key to do um, flurry of blows for two more unarmed attacks. Okay. And um, just for uh, for next time, you know you're going to be making a, a bunch of attack rolls. Like, feel free to like because you have so many dice. Just feel free to pre-roll them all, and then just you can like write them down, and then we'll know on your turn. That'll save us thirty seconds or so. Okay. So you see. Bubble, I've definitely put this mic in this cup before. I saw, I saw you drinking. I've definitely like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I was drinking before, and I like. I ended up like spilling some of the water on me because I'm like, oh no, my mic. <laughs> now I'm just like. Mhm. Mm okay, so the first uh, first one is for the um. Ah. All right. First one for the staff is a 20, not natural, just 15, and then the bonus. Um, His AC is 15. We'll just make it simple, just so you know what you, if you hit it. <laughs> okay. So one unarmed attack hits because that is 
A 16. I did roll a natural one on one of them. Mm. <sighs> Make that another natural one on one of them. You rolled <laughs> two natural ones? And then just rolled a natural 20. <laughs> so, there's going to be a lot of interesting stuff that happens right now. So, he's going to face plant, slide across the ground, <laughs> and then kick him in the, no, kick him in the balls. Oh, there's going to be a lot of stuff happening. Yeah, it's I like a very it. narrow corridor. I like it. Like so so here's the thing, right? So like yeah, you <laughs> you do exactly that. You you fall so hard on the leapfrog that you're like on your back, but it's total like kung fu wire fall. Like you fall and you're like sliding and you're like <laughs> punching up at his nuts and you do double damage on your crit because you just punched him in the nuts. Crouching tight. All right. Wong too. All right. <laughs> um so I'm rolling one damage for the staff and two for the unarmed attacks, right? Is that what I'm doing? Uh, however many yeah, hit. There's a lot of stuff. I don't remember, but yeah. Yeah, so the staff hit. That was the first one I rolled. The unarmed attack was one of the 20s, and then there was one which was 16. Okay. Go for it. Okay. So does this staff have anything or do I need do, that I need to know about, or is it just like a regular staff? <clears throat> I'm looking. Okay. Oh. Good O or better? Um, this is a staff of defense. You have a plus one to your armor class. Huh. Sweet. It also does some other stuff. I'll link it to you. Cool beans. Um... That's a five for that. All right, and then yeah, this is actually four. a really, really, really good staff. It's perfect for you. You get into a lot of trouble. <laughs> and then sixteen uh, total with the two unarmed attacks. Okay, what's your total damage? 16 for everything? Uh, 16, and then what did I say? 5 for the staff? So. Okay. So, 21. Mm hmm. Okay. Got it. Uh, yeah, he, I mean, he's. You, you definitely surprise him with your unorthodox technique. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I, I guess I, uh, you know, slide, I do that whole, you know quick bag thing on his nuts and then uh, kind of keep sliding jump up from behind him and just quack him with the staff right and like mm. you know kind of in the shoulder area mm. okay I like it alright who's up is that me I think so let me look pull up the initiative tracker no that's big baddie oh it is his turn alright uh, he is definitely he does he get like disadvantage from getting like you know speed you know? Speed well, he he's nuts? inside of my uh, my field of phantasmal force, so he has to fight my 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 illusion basically. What do you mean? Why? That's how that's how the spell works. That's the whole point of it. Also, so he has oh. to fight the spell. That's actually pretty dope. That's the whole point of the spell. Uh, create an illusion. Intelligence saving throw failed. Uh, target can use its action to examine the phantasm. You can realize it's an illusion. Wow. He treats it as if it's real, but he doesn't need to t choose to target it. And any if any effect target is so convinced that the phantasm realizes that it can uh, it can take that damage from illusion. A phantasm created appear as a creature can attack the target. Similarly, a phantasm created to appear as a fire pull. Yada yada yada. Okay. Once damage. Um, watch it. Provided that the illusion is, is a creature of hazard that can logically deal damage as an attack, and the target perceives damage appropriate type of illusion. I guess it doesn't say it has to attack. I guess right, but it, your 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 argument is that it it may seem like it is taking damage from the illusion. So what Correct. I'll do for that is I will have him attack the direction of the damage that Wang just did, 
but he's going to be kind of targeting the illusion, so he'll have disadvantage on his attacks. Also, he just got hit really hard where it in the hurt yes, a lot. In and the, he has like disadvantage on all of his swaggers from here on true. out. That's true. That's <laughs> true. Uh, oh. First one is with disadvantage. That's a seventeen. The second one at disadvantage is a nat one. Thank you, out of disadvantage. Uh, so one of them is going to hit you out of two. Uh, so thank you, Illusion, because it would have been two. Uh, so go ahead and take ten more damage, Mr. Wang, and uh, go ahead and make that constitution check again. You said ten more damage? Yeah. Mm. I feel bad. I'm just, like, in the back. Like, you guys got this. <laughs> and what was the save I need to make? Constitution. Constitution, you got it. You really want to take you. I really want something good. You want to? You want to save this? What was it? Um. Is it the one? Is it the one? Oh, okay. <laughs> I use I use my roll. It's a seventeen. Ah. Oh! Oh! I hold Thank up my you. Awesome. And my eyes glow uh, with radiance, and I see that he's about to like fall into that trance, and I just like point the radiant energy at him, and uh, his eyes glow white, and he makes the save. Awesome. Awesome. Woo, yeah. Thank you. You actually feel a bit of your life force like come back into your body as this experience has just, just kind of happened. So uh, the, 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 the dude looks a little confused. Um, awesome. Nice save. All right. Uh, that was his turn. And uh, there's two more uh, sets uh, or there's two more dudes in the hallway that were turned. They're going to try to save again. Uh, no, they're scared as hell. They're running away. Um, <laughs> oh, shoot. Uh, Jesus, he was radiant. <laughs> shut <Get up>. now. <laughs> they, they ain't have none of that. None of that. Uh, Total Bottom, it is your turn, sir. No, All I'm right, sorry. Shit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Bubble, it's your turn. Wait, wait hang on. Okay. Um, yes, yeah, so it is Bubble's turn. Yeah. I cast Spiritual Weapon. Okay. Um. Uh, I'm going to choose the form of a... a Golden radiant great sword of Aether with a red ruby in the center. And um, let's see. Uh, melee spell attack. Cool. I'm rolling for it. Attack him. Ooh. Guess what? I just rolled. Did you roll a dash 20? I roll nat 20. Ooh. Uh, yeah, so I guess I don't okay. have to tell you how high that is, like what my modifier is. Well, I rolled a nat 20. No, you're, yeah, you're going to crit. However, um, I was going to give you advantage because you're flanking this thing because he's turned around fighting Wang and an illusion. So roll it one more time just to see if maybe uh, you crit it's again. It's a 13 plus my spellcasting modifier, which I totally know. I don't know. That's okay. It's so long as it wasn't a nat 20. Uh, Plus three, yeah. Okay, so um, that is 1d8 uh, plus my spell casting. So that is 10 damage. Awesome. With Radiant, uh, my Radiant Sword of Aether. Yeah. That just it just kind of floats over everybody else. The, uh, the, the weight of it coming down on him kind of brings this guy to his knee. Uh, he's not, not looking great, so good, good job. Um, total bottom, you are up. Wait, can I use my uh, movement to leapfrog? <laughs> oh hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> can, I use my leapfrog? can you cast the spell while you're leapfrogging? I feel like that's why oh, you crit. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I leapfrog, and I'm just like, as like my legs are swinging over. Who's it? Is he, like the next one? Oh, Rai, Rai was down. Well, okay. Well, Rai is like down. My legs swing over his head. And I'm just like, <sighs> like, awesome. like golden sword that just like. Whoosh, yeah. Through the air, and I probably like land flat on my butt after that <laughs> while I was doing it. That's awesome. <laughs> All right, uh, Twiddle, you are up. Okay, so I am going to uh, moonwalk, levitate <laughs> out the door into the hallway. Uh, I actually going to pick up a rock. 
I'm going to moonwalk, levitate out the door. I'm going to look at the guy. And uh, as I'm moonwalking, I'm going to do the bang, my fingers again. <laughs> and I'm going to do a catapult of the rock into the guy. Ooh, okay. So that's uh, dex save 3d8. Okay. And for the lulls, I'm going to go and use my, my ability again. Let's get some magic going. Okay, I rolled his save. What's your magic doing? What do you mean? Oh, the uh, not tie the Titans of Chaos. What is that one? The one oh. that. Oh, you're gonna give yourself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, great. So uh, he fails the save, so he takes the full force of your damage, and you can roll your uh, your, your thing. Three d eight, mm. and then let's see, boom, boom. Do you want me to roll your? Uh, want me to roll your randomness for you? Oh yeah, go ahead. Let's do that. All right, you roll damage. Uh, oh, God. Well, don't want to be you gotta oh, you're good. <laughs> so twenty-two. You rolled a fourteen. Damage. Yeah, three to eight, 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 six. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. Sorry. Um, it's the okay. finger guns. It's the finger guns. <laughs> that is. That brings him down to exactly one hit point. Like he's down on the floor and he's like reaching oh. out. Um, Can we talk to him now? He, like, yeah, I mean, he's non-combative at this point. He's so low. Um, but let's see what happens with your roll. You rolled a 14. Uh, and, uh, oh, great. So you roll a spell centered on yourself. Um, the spell's called Confusion. <laughs> nice. Oh, <no. laughs> you become incredibly let's, confused. Let's see what happens. Uh, spell assaults, twisted creatures of my spirits, provoking uncontrolled action. Each creature, each creature in a ten foot radius. That's all of you. That's everybody. Set it on your point. Must must succeed in a wisdom saving throw uh, when you cast this or be affected by it. Uh, and it's total bottom spell modifier, which is really high. So what's your DC? Plus your five. <laughs> so uh, so it's gonna be a well, it's. Plus five, so it's a... Uh, oh, DC modifier 16, so 16 is a modifier. For saves? I got a Against sense. my spells, yes. My okay, spells are so, DC so 16 go saves. And, go and roll wisdom saves, guys, and try to make a 16. I made I need it. to make a 16? Nope, I got an 8. I got an 8. <laughs> I got a 17. <laughs> okay, okay Ryan, Ryan Wang, roll, roll a D10. Oh, God. Oh, no. Roll a d10. Okay. A two. A two. Uh, you Eight. are two. You are flabbergasted. You, j the only thing you can do for the next six seconds or so is stare off and and just not do anything. And eight. Um, <laughs> this is actually perfectly thematic for you. You must use your action to attack randomly a creature within range. Yeah, well, there's no talking to that guy. <laughs> uh, and it's... Okay, so let's see. He's in range. Uh, we're all in range, aren't we? You're all in range. So um, we're going to say, based off of the, the order on the screen, so... so but, but, I was right next to him. I leapfrogged. So like, we got... Bubble is going to be a, a one. Uh, Wang is going to be a two. Uh, Twiddle is going to be a three. And the guy is going to be a four. And I'm going to roll a d4. Four. As this is happening, Wang's just like <laughs> just flabbergasted. That's right. It's a four. It's a four. Oh, of course it is. All right. All right. Bring it. So you, I, I mean, you can roll if you want, but you just coup de gras this guy. He's, I mean, there's yeah, no talking. Right. He's just dead. Um, Finish him. And uh, you. Was the four for the guy we were fighting. Look, that spell had yeah. no effect. I was already confused going into this. <laughs> Bloodless. Uh, beheads the dude. Anyway. Hmm? What'd you say? Like, behead him? Like. Oh yeah. What's it? What's it look like there? See, I figure the guy's backing into the wall, saying, "I'll talk. I'll talk. I'll talk." When he's like, "Talk to this." Ah. <laughs> Just straight down his neck into his chest. Oof. Awesome. 
uh, and you feel the the essence fill the blade as it as the fire kind of roars. Um, so going forward, Alric, uh, your sword does four d6 fire damage. That's OD. And uh, you get advantage on initiative checks. You really want to kill things. Okay. I You're... feel like when he kills it, like the flames just kind of like engulf the dude and just like suck it into the sword. You'll also yeah. be getting advantage on attacks of opportunity. Just like any chance you can get to kill things, you're really good at it. Oh, this is great. This is great. This is, I'm when sure it comes- it's, it's all going to be fine. It's all going to be fine. I'm sure it's fine. We're going to have to fight a demon lord. Let's kill Was it things. Balor, right? Uh, Balazar. 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 That's the guy that uh, had the coins, right? We we jacked up his deeds before. Uh, no, that was it was close. I think that was Malazar. Okay, they're cousins. Yeah, <laughs> like you guys. <laughs> <laughs> so they just like burst into ashes and mist, right? This guy doesn't. This guy kind of dies. Like he so dies, like, dies, and, they, and there's a corpse there. I'm gonna do the most famous D and D thing in the entire world. I loot the corpse. You loot the corpse. Awesome. I loot the body. <laughs> So, um, there, he's wearing studded leather. Um, it, uh, you know, looks gross. Um, is he undead? He is definitely undead. Um, which is strange to you. Again, your, your instincts told you to do that. But again, in this world, there just hasn't really been undead. So doing what you just did felt right, but you don't know why you did it. And and it worked. Um, but, um, he's undead. Uh, the... Um, he has a, um, he has kind of a paper on it. Uh, yes, it's the first like, thing I wanted was his information. Yeah, he's got like a pentagram uh, on a paper, and it's got like these creatures. Uh, there's like a serpent and a griffin and a horse and a pig and a dragon, and they all have X's on them. <laughs> History check. <laughs> what are these animals? What are you doing? Yeah, okay, that is. He's playing mutilation bingo. <laughs> oh god. That's a nine. Okay. Um. You're not quite sure. It's not good. I'm gonna look at it and go, bingo. <laughs> <laughs> Pentagram paper with X out animals. Is, is the animal uh, is the dragon on the paper blue? It's like a black and white. I mean, it's like it's like oh. just paper with you know charcoal, mm. kind of you know. Is it X out? Is it okay? It's got an X on it. No! Did they kill my baby? No. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm going to walk over to Rye and say, dude, you know that sword isn't normal, right? You can, you can just hear him breathing heavily. like. <sighs> Who walked up to him? Was that... Was that... For the bottom. Um, I, I put a hand on your shoulder and I lead you away from him. It's best not to speak of it. And you just hear Rye right, breathing heavily like... <sighs> more (laughs) (laughs) I need more blood (laughs) Alric there was two that ran away Wang tries to take the sword away from Rai Rai just pushes him away (laughs) I get far away from this confrontation (laughs) I'm like just like okay um if you're gonna if you're gonna have the uh, I'm just gonna I'm gonna be over and I like pull myself into like the cage I was in before kind of like shut the door (laughs) 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 right I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna try something a little crazy this this guy had a magical sword right the guy we just killed he had an ability that created a sword oh okay so Rai then sheets the sword and suddenly kind of comes back to his senses, yeah. realizing that he pushed Wang too <laughs> into the cell. 
And Wang kind of has his hand on his staff, like he's ready to use it, but he's keeping it down, and he's just looking at you, like you you need to stop with that sword. Just like, what are you talking about, man? I'm gonna play an illusion of how he looks like to make it extra look demonic. I'm like, that's kind of what you look like right now. Rai just kind of goes, ah, uh, well, I'm happy with this choice. <laughs> and that's where we end the episode. <laughs> <laughs> it, it actually is. We're right at about time. So, uh, yeah. Awesome. Um, do you want a, a little teaser with the next encounter you're going to see? Just, yes. just to, just to uh, montage you up. So you, you explore just a little further into kind of the next room. Um, the, you check the rest of the cells. It's a lot of the same. Um, you kind of go past the corridor where they came from. Um, Alric, we're going to give you the benefit of the doubt. And you figured out the, the door um, for how to get through it. Um, but you, you see a large room that has um, a pentagram in the center. There is a, like a, a doorway on the far side. It's a square room. It's lit in here. Um, there's a, a large pentagram and on these like kind of blocky pedestals made out of stone there are animals in cages they have lights on them there is a dragon and a griffin and a horse and a pig and um, Cloudy's up there in a cage is it my dragon? it's yes she's in there Join us next time and as our adventure. <laughs> as you as you like look in, the pentagram on the floor lights up on fire, and we will end there. Oh, mm. now I don't want to end. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. awesome! I kind of thought this might happen, Amber. So I don't know if you want to um, finish this dungeon with us. You're super welcome to come back in a couple weeks and. Uh, finish out this thing with us if you like we can talk about that but um super fun so um we'll, we'll uh sign off on the stream for now we'll talk about that afterwards but um thanks for tuning in everybody and we will be back in a couple weeks let me look at the calendar because i know it's thanksgiving and stuff so let's just make sure we're all around so um thanksgiving of December, is next find. week right yeah, yeah thanksgiving so is next week, week after, so it's the week after thanksgiving we... so we should be back on the fourth so yeah. Your fourth is. And once we're out of our food coma. Yeah. Awesome. So, uh, stream. Thanks for checking in, and uh, we will check in next time on the fourth awesome. of December, two weeks from now. So. <gasps> That's the day after my birthday. <gasps> it is. Ah, yeah. happy birthday! Awesome. Nice. Does she get a happy birthday? Uh, what, what is that thing? Inspiration. Uh, inspiration point. There we go. Birthday inspiration. I, 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 I might be inclined to. Yes. Uh, you know, you start the campaign with one, so you, I didn't tell you. Oh, I you do? Yes. So. <gasps> oh my gosh, I get to check you the have, box. You could have leapfrogged more epically. What the heck? I know, I didn't even have to <laughs> <fall> my butt. <laughs> All right.